Hello everyone. Welcome to the second part of direction sense. In the first part, we have seen about the basic thing about the directions in which we have seen the whenever we take a page, the north direction will be always above one. The right side of the page will be your east direction. The bottom of the page will be your south direction and on the left hand side of the page will be your west direction. Then always there will be a 90 degree angle between both the major directions and the sub direction will always have a 45 degree angle between them. Okay, so you have seen all these things in your basic first lecture. Then with that we have solved a single question over there in which you might get what idea or what type of questions you might get. But that is not the only question you are going to face in the exam. So we are going to have a different types of question that we will actually see while solving the questions. Okay. So here we in this lecture we are going to solve the different and the major types of question that will be asked to you in a exam. Okay. Every question will be the different one but these types of question only are asked in the directions and section of your examination. Okay. So now we will be focusing on the particular way. With that in the previous lecture we have gone with one of the important point or important aspect that was called Pythagoras theorem or Pythagoras triplet. Okay. So just reminding you that in a right angle triangle whenever we are going to have a 90 degree angle over there in a right angle triangle hypotenuse square is equal to your base square plus height square. Okay. So even we can say that a square plus b square is equal to c square. So that can be applied only in right angle triangle. So now here we are going to go with the next part of direction sense. So let's start with the first problem that we are going to go over here. Okay. So here we have seen the first question over here. So what it is given Krishna is going to the local market for a grocery. Okay. So Krishna is the person that is going to go for a place for a grocery. Okay. So he is going to go and bring up a grocery. He takes his cycle. Okay. From home and starts moving in north direction. So yes, the basic thing we always know that the above direction is always north. So yes, I am drawing over here. The above direction will always be north. So we, let's consider that here is the Krishna's home. Okay. This is Krishna's home. Okay. And what they're saying, he has taken his cycle from his home and started moving towards the north direction. So from here, he started moving in a north direction. Okay. So he went up over there and okay and went for a 10 kilometers. So distance was 10 kilometers. After that he turns 90 degree to his left hand side. So if the Krishna is facing towards the north then his left hand side will be in the west direction. So from here it will take a turn towards west direction. Okay left hand side and cycle for 6 kilometers. So how much he is going to cycle? He is going to cycle only for 6 kilometers. So starting he went for a 10 kilometer and then for a 6 kilometer. After that he again moved 90 degree to his left hand side and cycle for 18 kilometers. So when he is facing towards west and then they are saying he again goes towards the left hand side. Means actually he is going towards the south direction. Okay. And how much he goes? He goes for approximately or exactly they are saying that 18 kilometers. Okay. So what we can say he's going for an 80 kilometer. Now he has reached the marketplace. So we can consider that this is the market. Okay. So he reached over there at the marketplace. So what is the distance between Krishna's home and the marketplace and he is in which direction from his home? So what they have asked, they have asked here two questions. Okay. The, num the first question is, what is the distance between Krishna's home and market? Okay, that is the first question. And the second question, he is in which direction from his home? From his home, he is in which direction? So first of all, we will go with the first question that has been asked that what is the distance between Krishna's home and marketplace? So what is the distance between Krishna's home and marketplace? So Krishna's home and marketplace, we have to find out the shortest distance. Okay, always remember we have to find out the shortest distance. So we have to just exactly find out this distance. Okay, so we are going to calculate this distance. So for that, we are actually going to require a perpendicular distance. 
so if i draw this now you will get this above box is nothing but an rectangle yes you can see over here that is an rectangle so if this is 6 kilometer this is again going to be a 6 kilometer and if this is 10 kilometer then the, this bifurcation will be your 10 kilometer plus 8 kilometer so here we can say that what will be the so the this small right angle triangle will be with your 6 kilometer as a base and 8 kilometer as your height so we know the pythagoras triplet what pythagoras triplet says that that it says hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square okay and we know that here base is 6 kilometers so 6 kilometers plus that is 6 square plus 8 square that is the another one so 6 6 the 36 8 8 the 64 so if we made its total it will be your 100 but that is hypotenuse square so hypotenuse is equal to root 100 so hypotenuse square will be root 100 which is equal to 10 kilometers so yes we finally find out the distance between his home and his market is 10 kilometers okay so if we see over here we are going to get two options so eliminating an option we will get this option has been eliminated and this option has been eliminated now the next question they have asked in which direction is he from his home so in which direction particularly he is from his home so if we go and put here over across then we know that this is the south direction and this is the west direction so he will be in between south and west so the direction will be southwest so the answer should be here southwest and 10 kilometers so the answer will be option c that is southwest and 10 kilometer okay hope so all of you have got this question okay now let's go with the next question so here we go with the next question where parinita walks 500 meters to east and reach lata's house from her house so let's consider that this is the Lata's house or this is the Parinita's house okay so from Parinita's house Parinita goes towards east okay for 500 meters okay so 500 meters to reach Lata's house so now she will reach over here and it is Lata's house fine LH okay now from there she walks towards north for 1000 meter to reach her gym so from here she goes towards north for 1000 meters okay so for 1000 meters to reach gym so here is the gym we consider that okay her gym is in which direction from her home and what is the total distance traveled by parinita so here again there are two questions that has been asked that her gym is in which direction from her home so from her home which direction is her gym and second one what is the total distance traveled by parinita okay so what is the total distance traveled by parinita so if we consider the first question okay over here that her gym is in which direction from her home so if we consider that from this starting point this is the north and this is east so her gym is in northeast direction so her gym is in northeast direction so yes we are going to get the answer as north east okay and then they have asked the total distance traveled by parinita total distance so here the word total is very important so total distance means the first that she traveled 500 meters and next she traveled for 1000 meters so if we add both of them we will get 1500 meters which is equal to 1.5 kilometer so yes here the conversion was also there in this particular question so the final answer should be northeast 1.5 kilometer that is option c okay that is the correct one so let's go with the next question now so the next question is okay so rajesh started walking towards north so from a point rajesh started walking towards north so consider here was the Rajesh standing 
and from that point Raja started walking towards north so he walks towards north after walking for 4 km he turns towards right hand so from north right hand side will be means it will be in east direction and walk for again 4 km fine he then turned right hand side again and walk for 4 km so from this point he again turns right hand side so from east the right hand side will be in the south direction and how much it goes it goes for again 4 km okay he again goes for 4 km finally he again turns right hand side and walks 6 km so from south the right hand side will be in the west and from that point he is going for a 6 km okay so the total distance traveled by him is a 6 km so how far is he from the initial position so from initial position how far is he so this is where actually now Rajesh ha is standing so this was the four and this was the four so we can consider four kilometer in the north direction and four kilometer in the south direction will get cancelled and here we have the Rajesh traveled four kilometer in east and then six kilometer in west okay so four and six I can say that the distance if we subtracted it will be two kilometer okay so two kilometer so this distance will remain as a two kilometer because this four means this six will be divided as two plus four and in that case this four and this four will get cancelled and from the starting point he is the two kilometer in west direction so here there is no direction asked but asked only about the distance that is how far so we will say that over here the answer should be option d that is two kilometer okay moving towards the next question here we see that the question is about rishikesh so rishikesh started walking towards south so again same type of question Rakesh or Rishikesh is actually stand, uh, started walking towards south. So from a point he started walking towards south and walk for 6 km. Fine. He turns towards left hand side and walk for 8 km. So from this point he turns towards left hand side. Left hand side means from south the left hand side will be in the east and he goes for an 8 km. So how much he goes? He goes for an 8 km okay so fine he goes for an 8 kilometer he then turned left side so from here he again goes for the left so from east if you, someone is facing east and then he goes towards left so it will be a north and goes for again 6 kilometer he again turns towards left hand side and walk for 10 kilometers so from this point he moves towards the left hand side and goes for 10 kilometers so yes this is nothing but a 10 kilometer distance okay 10 kilometer so how far is he from the initial position so 6 and 6 get cancelled means vertical displacement is 0 so now it remains only the horizontal so from that we can say that it has gone okay that 10 kilometer and 8 kilometer so it is 10 so total was 10 from 10 8 kilometer has been gone so here 8 and this is 2 so 8 has cancelled with this 8 so remains 2 km so here again the answer should be D that is 2 km okay now let's move towards the next question so next question in this it is given that or mentioned that Swagat walks okay what they are mentioning over here Swagat walks towards north for 15 meters so from a point Swagat walks 15 meters towards north so in north he went for a 15 meter and from there he goes right hand side for 10 meters right hand side for 10 meters and again turns right hand side for 5 meter from this he again turns towards right and goes only 5 meter he is in which direction okay now here the question is that he is in which direction now Many of you might think that they have been asked that in which direction he is facing but not it is not like that it is like that he is in which direction so in which direction means what from 
the starting point so here the, from the starting point is considered so we will consider that from this particular point okay so from this particular point he is in which direction so north and east so we can say it is in between north and east so from the starting point he is in which direction he is in northeast direction so here we no need to calculate any distance because they have not asked about the distance they have asked us only about the direction so here the answer will be your northeast that is option b okay so today we will stop over here so thank you very much